Implementation methods for new systems in project management. Basically, there are four different types of implementation methods. They are direct, parallel, phased, and pilot. Now, the first type is a direct conversion. This is the immediate change to a new system on a chosen date. Basically, this is the quickest type of a conversion as the old system is immediately replaced by the new system over a short period of time. Now, this uh, is a rather quick process, meaning that participants need to be trained before the conversion, but also the disadvantage is there's no going back to the old system if the new system has any kind of errors or failures. The next type is a parallel conversion. A parallel conversion is the safest method of conversion as we have both the old system and the new system running side by side. Now, although this method is safe, Okay, it does mean that the workload is doubled as data is being produced both on the old and new system, but it does give time for the participants to get used to the new system. The next method is a phase conversion. A phase conversion is the gradual implementation of the new system over the old system. So each kind of process is brought in one by one. Now, this is quite a timely process, but then if you do find any errors with the new system, you can revert back to an old, the older systems process. Okay, so identifying issues is much easier in a phased conversion. Phased conversions also have the issue of the new system, the old system being incompatible with different components trying to communicate with each other. The final conversion method is a pilot conversion. In a pilot conversion, there are multiple departments within the organization. The, the new system can be trialed in one particular department. So it's the whole system, but it's in one particular department. If it is successful in that department, the new system can also be adopted by other departments. Okay, And if it's proved to be a success overall in multiple departments, it can be picked up by everyone. So they're the four different types of conversions okay, for implementing a new system. Understand that there are positives and negatives to all different types, being that of time, workload, and costs. Okay, try to understand where the advantages and disadvantages are for each.